Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy, specifically checking accounts. And this is standard 6.14a in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 21 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we simply have two banks, Bank Y and Bank Z, and they are both checking accounts, and they have monthly fees. So one has a monthly fee of 1% of the checking account balance, and one has a $5 checking account fee. Now, before we go any further, do not pay for a monthly fee for a checking account. There are plenty of checking accounts out there that will actually give you no fee. Sometimes they might ask you to direct deposit your checking account or your paycheck every single month, but you don't really need a fee for a checking account. But we'll look at these two imaginary banks. We just need to find which statement is best supported by the information in the table. The bank fee at Y will always be less than the bank fee at Z. Well, the bank fee at Z is pretty simple, five bucks. We don't know what the bank fee of Y is simply because it is a percentage. So let's say our Y is, let's say our balance, just throw some numbers out here for Y. So if our balance is 100, then our fee, this is for Y, it's going to be 1% of that, right? So this is going to be 1%. Now there's a few tricks to do 1%. 1%, that's really the same as 0 0.01, right? One hundredths. So if we wanted to multiply that, we could just do 100 times 0 0.01, and guess what you're going to get? You're going to get a 100, but two decimal places. So here's the trick with 1%. All you need to do is move the decimal place two times to the left. So a fee is going to be decimal place once, twice over, that's $1. So a $100 balance is a $1 fee. But a $200 balance is a $2 fee. And you see where we're going. What if we were to get $600 balance? Now you're paying a $6 fee, and that is going to actually be greater than bank Z. So it evens out at 500 right? 500 is going to get exactly the same. Once you get above 500, it's not going to be cheaper. So that's a no on A. The bank fee at Y will always be more than the bank fee at Z. I oh, know we actually just answered that question. The bank fee at Y doesn't start as more. If you've got small balances like 100, 200, 300, the bank fee at Y only gets more when it's greater than that 500. And you notice, here's our words that we're using to kind of let us know that these are incorrect. Always. Sometimes, yes. Always, no. So no on B. The bank fee at Y will be more than the fee at bank Z only when the customer's balance is more than 500 bucks. Pretty sure that's just what we were talking about. Let's make sure they've got the banks in the correct order here. The bank fee at Y, so that's this 1%, is only going to be more than the one at Z, yes, when a customer's balance is more than 500. We figured out that was kind of our tipping point right here was this 500. Because 500 times that 1%, it's going to get you that 5 bucks. So that looks like that's probably the answer. Let's see what we have over here for D. Let's question mark that one. The bank fee at the fee at bank Y will be more than bank Z only when the checking account is less than. Okay, so it's the same thing as C and D, except they're just using this more or less as our options. We know less is incorrect, so our answer is going to be C.